Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video today. I'm still working on six by eight pocket pages. The photos are from Monsi, Austria. So this was still my trip last summer. And I have a lot of stuff picked out for this already. However, some of it may change. So when I laid this all out, first of all, I have three photos here. So I will need a photo flip there. I picked out this card because I loved this little town so much. And especially this central square area so I thought this was perfect it's also black so it matches with a lot of things because black goes with pretty much everything then I had picked out this because I was thinking okay it's green it's got some gold in it it'll work now I'm questioning that decision I still like the green and gold but I feel like it's too much green especially because I've got all of this right here and this over here so I recently got this card from a Coco Daisy kit and I like both sides. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I may cut this off and then put it on top here on one of these sides. I haven't decided which I like better yet. Um, this one would allow me more options for journaling for sure, but I really like these patterns and colors. So I'm not sure, but I think I am going to sort of do a mishmash and put those together. And then I also got these in my latest Coco Daisy kit. And I love these little embellishments, especially this heart. And because I have this here, I would like to try to work one of these in on this side somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Because if you notice, when I printed this photo, I put a digital element on it and then printed it. So I already have that on there. If I decided I didn't want that, I could just reprint the photo without that on there and be fine. But I do like it. It's a geotag, you know, and it says go, and I like it. But I'm just not sure how I'm going to work in the heart with that. I did cut off the top here. And I've decided I'm going to do it on this side. Because it will leave me room for journaling. And if you look at the side, it's got these little triangles that look kind of like peaks. It matches the rooftops of the buildings. There are lots of peaks here and here and so I thought well that's cool that would be a design element that brings it all together so I am going to create it like this okay so when I was off camera I decided to switch things up a bit I moved some stuff around so now I have where the photo fi flip will be is actually changing it's going to be up here so I have moved that I moved the postcard so now that's over here and then I rearrange these as well. This had been here, this had been here, this had been over here. So I mixed up a little bit, but I like it. Now these big bright patches of green are at completely opposite ends of the layout, which I like. And I like that you kind of get this view first, like, oh, here's the idyllic postcard of, of what this is supposed to look like. And then you get to see those buildings reflected right here in the actual photo. So I think this is the place I'm going to go with. I don't know what else I'm gonna do other than that right now. I still wanna to try to use these. If I use this heart, I'm thinking I may have to just use it like in this dead space because otherwise it's, on this side, it's, it's almost too close to this. And then if I put it on the postcard, I like the idea of it, but then it's right next to another element. And granted, this is digital, it's not an embellishment, but still, it's an element. So I'm thinking maybe it's gonna to have to go up here. So I've decided I am going to use this on this photo. Now this is interesting. When I took these out of the package, I thought maybe they had glue dots or something on the back that they'd be adhesive. They are not. They happen to stick to the coating on this card, but then there's nothing on them. So I will have to use my own stuff to apply them. I thought about a glue dot, but because it's rubber, I know that sometimes they react when you put a glue dot on them and sometimes it, over years, it leaves a ring on the outside. There must be oil or some kind of chemical in it. So I think what I'm going to do instead is apply it with my multi-purpose liquid glue and just hope that that works. While this is drying, I figured I might as well work on the other photo that's gonna go in the flip. So this one I put in there, this is the way it's going to appear. I'm not gonna do anything with it, but this one is gonna show on this side. I do wanna do something down here, probably just a phrase label, maybe a little sticker or something, but I do want something in kind of that dead space right there. When I was going through my travel phrases, trying to find something that would work, I wanted yellow 
to bring in all this lovely yellow that I have going on elsewhere. And I really didn't find a phrase that was correct. It, nothing just seemed to match what I wanted. Then I remembered I recently got a bunch of stuff from Flutterby Designs. They are an Australian company. Here, let me show you. Hold on here. This is something else I got from them. But that's what their logo looks like. It's a little hard to... Whoops. Stay steady, stand, cameras. So it's hard to see it here, but it says Flutter by Designs. It's got a little butterfly there. And then it's flutterbydesigns.com.au. They are Australian. I got a package of phrases, and then you just cut them out. I think I'm going to use this one that says Love to Travel. It's a little bit more goldish yellow than what I was thinking, but I think I can get away with it because I do have both yellow and this kind of yellow orangey color. So I think I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to use that phrase from this set. I have the photo flip ready now. This is dry so I put that in there. This was already there and I've put this in the pocket. So that's pretty much ready to go. When I was looking at this though I still felt like it needed something else. Since I've already put this on, I've added a little bit of bulk. It's not a huge amount. It's a pretty thin embellishment, but I figured if I'm going to add anything else, I might as well add something that's a little bit raised since I've already done it. It won't add any additional bulk, but since there's some, why not go for it? And I do have these alphas, and I'm wondering if I could do Mon C right here, if it would be way too much, if it would look okay. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try a couple letters and see what I think of it. If I don't like it, I can always just pull them off, but if it looks good, great. Here it is partially done. I just wanted to test it out to see what I think, and I like it. And it will help me use up some of these alphas. I have so many of these. I love them, but I have a ton. These are from Citrus Twist. And when I was still subscribing to them, you get one in pretty much every kit. So I have these things stockpiled. So I might as well find a way to use them, right? So I like it enough. I'm going to continue. So I'll do the rest of the word and then I'll be back. I've pulled out more stuff from my Flutter by Designs. This sticker set there are some bad words on here so if you notice that oops sorry but not really that's one of the reasons why I love this brand is because they say those things they're not afraid to do it and I enjoy that but anyway I was looking on here and I saw that they have this sticker that says never forget and it's mostly yellow but then it starts to go a little ombre have a little maybe orange tinge there and I have that happening so I'm wondering if I can take that one and stick it right here in this dead space uh, where the street is and then have that kind of be my last thing to bring it all together. So I'm going to try it. I've attached that sticker and I love it. There it is. I mean, it's tiny compared to everything else, but it's just enough and it brings in a little bit of the black here. If anything, it's made me wonder, do I need more black on this side? Because really all I have is the wrought iron here, maybe a little bit here, which isn't, you know, a whole lot. So I'm wondering, should I put like a little piece of washi here? Because this is kind of dead space overlap it. I don't know. I'm going to go off camera and think about that. I've decided I do want to put some washi here. I think it does need that black and white mix to bring this all together. So I have selected this one. This is an old set of washi. I think I've had it maybe five years, maybe slightly less. It's an old one, I believe, from A Beautiful Mess. I used to subscribe to their kits when, for a while when they were still doing scrapbooking kits, and I believe this is washi that came in one of those. So you don't get a whole lot, so I've used it sparingly, but I think it's perfect for this one because it's a mix of black and white. I took out a couple that were very heavily black, and it just felt like too much. This, I think, will go nicely with that. So let's try it. So I think I'm just gonna overlap like so, and let's try it up here with everything. Yes, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. Now I will attach the flip and start putting everything together. As I was getting ready to attach the flip, I realized I had to make one more change. I forgot that on the other side of this, there's already a flip. So it would make that pocket really, really heavy to have that on both sides. So I didn't like that. And then when I attached this, it would have overlapped the top here and kind of distracted from the Mon C that I added. And I don't like that. 
So I've switched these two. Now the flip will be on this pocket, which is fine. The top will be heavier because there's a pocket, you know, a flip on both sides, but that's okay. At least it's distributed a little bit better than if they were really on top of each other. So I will just attach it on this side instead. And I attach all of my flips now at the bottom here. Ah, oh, it's still gonna overlap that M a little bit. Oh, do I like it or not? It's kind of distracting. Oh boy, I'm not sure. Luckily, these come off pretty well if you put them down and don't like it as long as you take them up quickly. I'm gonna have to reassess this to see, can I shuffle it any other way? Well, I've shuffled again, but I think I've come up with a configuration that will work now. So I move things around again. So this way now the heart is up here. It's across from the other, or diagonal from the other black and white. The photo flip will now be down here, and it still works because then the hearts are again diagonal. They're not next to each other. This will flip up. It won't hang off a top edge, which I hate. So it would still work there, and this won't cover up anything. It won't make it distracting. I tried it over here first and realized, oh, then I'm going to cover up the sticker, which I'm not sure I like. So here, I'm not losing anything. It's not distracting from anything. So I'm going with this pocket. So I'm going to do it, and let's see how it looks once it's on there. I have to get it centered correctly. All right. And then when you flip, it'll look like that. Okay, yes, I think this is the winner. So I'm gonna leave it before I decide to do anything else to it. This one's done. Thanks for watching, everyone.